Also new at 10, a man was spotted on the side of the road in the Oakland Hills, apparently having car trouble. But as KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee explains, a good Samaritan who pulled up on over pulled over here says it was all a scam. Take a look. This is camera footage from a Tesla showing a man standing next to his car parked on the side of the road in the Oakland Hills. And I saw a guy with his blinkers on. He just, another car just left. Artem Rusakovsky was driving his Tesla when he came across the man. It looked like he needed help. He flagged me down and I don't know why, but I just pulled over thinking he needs help. Maybe he needs a jump or he needs to use a cell phone to call 911. It happened on busy Moraga Avenue near Highway 13. He said he was uh, Saudi, his family was in the car and he needed help, something about his car. Then the conversation abruptly shifted. He looks out of gold ring, uh, probably very much fake, and tries to say something like, uh, here's a ring, you know, probably tries to exchange it for some cash. That's when Rusakovsky says he realized he was being scammed. And at that point I said, nope, and drove off. Rusakovsky says he believes the man chose that spot precisely because it's a busy street near the highway between the Montclair District in the Oakland Hills and Piedmont. He believes the driver ahead of him knew what was up and left. After he posted his videos on Nextdoor, several people said they saw the same man at other locations. Yeah, from Saudi Arabia. Um, that he had no money. Kelly Verkey said that she gave the same man $20 for a gold chain labeled 18K in Lafayette near Highway 24 after he asked for help getting back to Las Vegas. It's shameful. The most disappointing thing about it is that everyone is starting to trust everyone again after the entire pandemic. For years, law enforcement have been warning people about this roadside scam involving fake jewelry. Ruzakovsky says he's frustrated that a parent con artist would take advantage of people's natural inclination to help. I would say angry. Um, I don't like scammers. It's not as bad as robbing you, but it's essentially robbing um, without maybe violence. Authorities are warning people to be alert, keep your wallet shut, and report any tips. In Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.